we are on the west south side of the garage. This is the electric meter, it's sealed on three sides, below grade. This grounding rod is supposed to have been buried. This grounding rod is supposed to have been buried. Completely. Now, an electrician can put some equipment on there and measure a certain amount of resistance and the code inspector can say it's okay, but without specialized knowledge, the grounding rod is supposed to be buried. Inside the garage. Inside the garage. South wall. This is the main electric service. Discon uh, disconnect and load center and this is a sub panel. L1 and L2 and I don't know why it's not over here but L1 and L2 are supposed to have plastic covers on them. That's fairly recent but it's a, it's a few years old. It's a few years old, the requirement. We're not supposed to have paint inside the cabinet. Now obviously the panel board hasn't been affected or apparently the panel boards have not been affected, but the code says that no foreign, no foreign materials inside the cabinet, and this is including the panel board connections, wires, and so forth. Including, so the panel board is the first thing. You know, I'm not liking to discount my work, but um, you know the statistical relevance of that. You know, you might want to weigh it. I don't know. I don't know, the air conditioning systems appear to be properly fused. So we don't have the, we don't have the covers, we got some paint. What else we got going on in here? Not supposed to have more than an eighth of an inch difference in the cabinet, between the cabinet and the gypsum board. Eighth of an inch. Oh, that's tight. I don't know. Kid down at the uh, um, stereo shop was able to make the stereo in my car look like the factory installed it. He, this is a lot tighter than an eighth of an inch, but I guess. And then the, the panels, they're, they're screwed in. The cabinets are screwed in. The screws are faster and tighter. I get that. Oh, look, that was a sheetrock screw, gypsum screw. You don't think that's going to break? Faster and tighter. We get that. Faster and tighter. Let's go to the beer store. But nails have more shear strength than screws. So if this structure, were to experience a tornado, for example, these cabinets would stand a much better chance of staying safely in place if they were nailed in properly rather than screwed in with the gypsum board screws. Just saying. Now, the bonding location is labeled inside the cabinet. That's a good thing. Kinda. It's kind of a good thing. The cabinet covers. This is called handwriting. It's not cursive, but that's handwriting. This is called printing. And the code says that this information should have been printed like that inside of here. In fact, the manufacturer has stickers that you can use so that you can apply printed information, documentation in here instead of the handwriting. The handwriting. Uh, the ink from the pens fades faster. Handwriting is worse. So, I didn't make that up. I'm a mockingbird. And I say, you know what? I think I'll make everybody put printing in there. It's not me. It's not me. It's handwriting. What does that say? I don't know. Let's see. What does uh, that say? I don't know. What does that say? I don't know. I mean, I guess I could just decipher it. So these are the main service panels. This is the service panel and the sub panel, excuse me, the main disconnect. And what do we learn here? We got gaps that are more than an eighth and an inch. We got screws. We are missing our rubber booties. We got a little bit of paint inside the main one. And the wires should not be touching the panel cover. Okay, that's what we learned. But we're gonna go out. We're going to go out towards the front. Go out towards the front, over to the larger garage. This is the north garage. And on the north garage on the west wall, it's called a Eufer. 
as, and that's the bonding for the electrical system because we have a PEX water supply system. So we had to drive our, drive our bonding from another, another location. And the same thing with the gas meter. The gas meter's on the south side of the garage. We come along here. Well, excuse me. The gas meter is bonded. It's bonded probably to the Ufer. Probably the Ufer. But, okay. And then that bonding will continue to your water heater and your furnaces and other gas appliances.